Hey guys, it's Ruffles Kerman, and today we are going to be sending a gigantic space station to Gilly, the smallest planet slash moon in the Kerman solar system. Now, I actually built this rocket a lot earlier, but I couldn't launch it due to the pretty awful frame rate on my old computer. But as you guys, most of you know if you're reading my posts, I built a new computer recently and it is amazing. This right here is actually one time speed and there's not a lag at all in the frame rate. This is was so beautiful because my last computer it had about three frames per second when I was launching this rocket, which is pretty terrible. It was very hard to launch it at all. But look at that, no, no significant lag, actually no lag at all when it started launching with all those dust particles. This computer is a beast and is going to be very helpful for a lot of big rockets and live streaming in the future. So yeah, live streaming is an option now and we will be doing some of that hopefully in the near future. So with all of that being said, let's get to Gilly. And here we are at Gilly. The transfer process to Gilly was pretty simple, although Gilly is sort of hard to get to because it uh, has no gravity, so when you're orbiting, you're orbiting at around 20 meters per second at the most. So it can be hard to get a transfer or a uh, an encounter with Gilly, but you sort of just gotta play with it and you'll get one eventually. Anyway, we are now separated from our last booster, Actually, the space station has 2,000 meters per second itself, but if we disconnect these struts, well, okay, we should be able to uh, use that spinning, rotating ring pretty nicely, but I don't think that's a very nice use of the rotating ring. Anyway, let's start the ring rotating. Now, it's rotating a little fast, and the torque is too much for the space station to handle, so we can just fix that if we limit the RPM limit a lot, and then slow down the torque limit as well. And with both of those extremely limited, it should spin around nice and slow. And there we go. That's pretty much perfect. This space station is one of my favorites, if not the favorite space station I've built, just because it looks super cool, and it's functional as well. It can hold a whole bunch of Kerbals, and it has lots of docking ports for extra add-ons or SSTOs, landers, space shuttles, anything like that, and more than I could ever need in the future. Let's modify our orbit so that it's a little bit closer to Gilly.
Overall, I am very happy with how this space station turned out. And I guess I'm also very happy with how my computer turned out. It runs a space station at, I think, around like 70 frames per second. My recording software only uses 30 FPS, but still, that is much better than my old computer. That was a close call. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe if you're not already, and have a great rest of your day.